Mango Susan? Uh, don't know. You don't know? I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely do. Cos if you don't think I should and you're meant to be my best friend... Yeah, my best friend. No, not my best friend, your best friend. <laughs> we'll be your best friends, Margaret. We like being best friends. No chance. <sighs> yeah, uh, sorry. Susan! <laughs> Question, Margaret. Of course you can. You're my best friend, aren't you? Am I, Margaret? What do you mean? Of course you are. I'm your best friend, aren't I? Well, yeah, but... Uh, but what? Why are you so horrid all the time, Margaret? Horrid? Horrid? I'm not horrid. Yes, you are. You're horrid and bossy. Bossy is the new black, Susan. Nothing feels as good as bossy. Yeah, well then, you're moody. I'm not horrid, don't you see? That's the problem. What do you mean? I'm not horrid. And I want to be horrid, just like Henry. Are you jealous of Henry? <laughs> no. And anyway, there's nothing wrong with jealousy. I think you're jealous, Margaret. I am not jealous, Susan. You are horrid, Margaret. All right then, have it your own way. Let's get in there and tell them then, shall we? Go on then This proclamation hereby proclaims that I, Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe, am most horrid Carry on Yeah, because I am horrid through and through Stupid, huh? I said go away. You know, it doesn't have to be like this. If you don't go away right now, I'm going to tell on you. All right, all right, don't shout my ears off. That's my line. It's quite a good one. I know. I can show you how to be horrid, you know. What do you mean? I can show you how to be horrid. It's not that difficult. <laughs> partner Henry. I am... Um, um... Margaret, you're Henry's partner for this race. What? Hurry up, it's about to start. <laughs> On your marks. I'm in charge, Henry, and I want to win, so you'll do exactly what I say. Get set. No. I want to get sent home, so you do what I say. You reckon? I reckon. Uh, this way! No! This way! Ah. Ow. Oh. Oh. This is more like it! Henry! Oh, Henry. Stop that at once! Ow. we wouldn't win. That's it. This race is cancelled. Oh, and Henry, you horrid child. If you think I'm going to send you home, you're wrong. You are here all day. 
The rest of you follow me. <laughs> oh, you'll pay for this, Henry. But the trouble with sports day brings out the worst in people. Don't worry, Ted. The eggs are hard boiled. <laughs> Ready, get set, go! race is also cancelled and nobody moves until I find out who brought those eggs. I can't tell a lie, Miss Battleaxe. Well? It was Peter. <laughs> Babysitter? No, we're going out as a family. <laughs> Henry! He's got the car keys again. Henry, I'm coming in there. <laughs> Henry, no, not the toilet. He wouldn't, would he? <sighs> You didn't see that, Peter. Right, let's go. I can't wait! A chance to try new things! I love food. Well, um, all except beetroot. I love food too. Well, all except squid. Oh, and Dad doesn't like tomatoes. Well, I don't like anything except whoopa whoopy burgers. I'm not going! That's that! All right, Henry. Here's the deal. You come along, behave yourself, and eat everything on your plate, and I'll give you two pounds. Two pounds? Just for shoving a few mouthfuls of disgusting food in my mouth. Normally I have to do that for free. How about three pounds? Don't push it, Henry. OK, deal. What's my reward for being good? Goodness is its own reward, Peter, darling. Huh? It's very nice of Aunt Ruby to invite us to dinner at Restaurant La Poche. It won't be as good as Whopper Whoopi. They have real food. And your cousin Steve will be there too, boys. Oh, no! Not stuck up Steve! Steve's my favourite. Um, where shall I park? We park, sir, unless you happen to be the chauffeur. Darlings! On oh, Ruby! <laughs> 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 New car, Ruby? Oh, I'm not sure, darling. All our limos look the same to me. <laughs> what make is your car, Henry? Russ Bucket 2000? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that. Yes, isn't it fabulous? It's carved completely out of ice. I didn't think you'd be coming, Henry. Ugh. I'm getting two pounds for eating everything on my plate. And I'm not getting anything because goodness is its own reward. Huh? Be, Be quiet, worm! It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Middle Ages and Beyond. Boring. Modern Times. Definitely not. Special.
special exhibits. Aha! Dinosaurs! Hello? Anyone in there? <laughs> Somewhere. There he is. Oh no! Gotcha. What? It's the naughty children's room for you. Oh, oh, there must be some mistake. Peter's been a perfect little angel all day. Mom, this is definitely the boy. We recognise his T-shirt. But no, I haven't done anything. It's lovely. No, don't worry, Peter. We'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> That'll teach Peter to dress like me. We are coming to the culmination of our tour, a 1950s replica of this building when it was a town hall. Miss, I was wrong. This museum isn't boring at all. Oh, Henry, well done. And next time we'll go to the ice cream factory. Yes! Oh! Henry, you horrid boy. It's so easy. Henry, yes, Miss Oddbold. Well, I must confess, I did not expect to see you here. Oh, uh, yes, Miss Oddbold. You have come about. Yes, Miss Oddbold. I must say I'm rather pleased to see you here, Henry. Yes, Miss Oldbud. You are Miss Oldbud? Yes. I mean, I know they do say never judge a book by its cover, but your volumes have been, uh, shall we say, remarkably consistent in their presentation. You are Miss Oldbud? I haven't finished, Henry. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, remarkably consistent in their presentation and would never have led one to believe that there were such hidden depths. Well, what do you have to say to that, Henry? Uh, yes, Miss Oddbud? Right, well, it's early days. Now then, let's get on with the matter in hand, shall we? Yes, Miss Oddbud. Take these. Yes, Miss Oddbud. And report back to my office same time tomorrow morning. Yes, Miss Oddbud. Well, off you go then. Yes, Miss Oddbud. Hey, Henry. What you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Hello, my name is and I am an ambassador. Weird lines. That's enough! No, he's got 
another page to do after this one. Thanks, Al. Oh, could you, Henry? Could I what? Steal what is rightfully mine. I don't know what you're talking about. That was my job. I was born to do it. Then go ahead and finish it. Oh, I'm not playing your little game anymore, Henry. Boys, you're making the noise. Uh, Henri le Hurid. Yes, Madame Tutu? What are you doing, Henri le Hurid? I'm doing my lines, Madame Tutu. <laughs> and we're watching him, Madame Tutu. I think, little boys, that perhaps you would be happier on the story carpet. This isn't over till it's over, Ambassador. <laughs> Search me. Greetings, Lord High Majesty and Ambassador. Oh, don't you stop, Brian. Maybe you'd like to do my lines for me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so funny. You! You thought these were your lines. And? You don't know, do you? No what? That you're an ambassador. Am I? That's what it says here. Look! There's a specs for your name. My name's Henry and I'm an ambassador. I'm an ambassador. Ambassador Henry. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. There has to be a way. Come on, everyone, into the clubhouse. Margaret, what? You have a DVD player in your clubhouse, right? So, what's it to you? Well, I was wondering if I... Well, if you wouldn't mind if I could watch my DVD on it. Depends. What have you got? It's, um, a spy film. I don't like spy films. Apart from Gross Class Zero, of course. No, wait! It is Gross Class Zero! Look! Hmm. All right, then. Right, I'll just put the film on and... Uh, not so fast, Henry. We have to vote on whether or not the club members want to see the film. Yeah, Henry. But there isn't much time before dinner. We've got to hurry. All those in favour of watching Gross Class Zero. Fine, let's start. All those against? Motion carried. Finally. Now we just need to agree what you're giving me in return for letting you use my DVD player. What I'm giving you? But if you want to watch your film here, you have to let me be the leader of the Purple Hang Gang for a week. What? No way! Fine. Then you can watch your film somewhere else. Yeah, Henry. Oh, all right. You can be leader for a week. Now can we just watch? And he like has to pass around the popcorn. But you're right next to it. Do you want to see the film or not? Yes, yes. I'll do it. Here. But can we just watch the film now, please? Put it on then. And hurry up about it. Yeah, Henry. What are you waiting for? At last! Gross class! Hippos? Are you ready for some super duper happy tasting hippo fun? Why did you say you had gross class zero when you really wanted to watch happy hippos just like a baby? Yeah, Henry, a baby. Oh no! <laughs> I must have mixed up the DVDs! <laughs> happy, 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 from our heads to our toes. Henry, why are you so late? We've all been waiting for you. Who cares? You'll care when you lose your pocket money for another week. Here's your DVD, worm. The bumper wumpa nappy wappy soft rubbish for wormy babies. Mum! Stop being horrid, Henry. Oh, that reminds me. I picked up a film at the library today. Gross Class Zero. <gasps> you like Gross Class Zero? Of course. I used to love it when I was a kid. 
That's not bogey fart poo. We're all sick and so are you. Gross! <laughs> Can I watch it with you? Well, that was the plan. It's much too late now. If we'd had dinner on time, you could have watched it together. But now it's way past your bedtime. for the part, please! Nonsense, Henri. The part is practically yours. But I don't deserve the lead. Not really. I'm sure someone else would be much better in such a, um, a fantastic role. Lacum. Um... Andrew! What? Hmm. Very well. Andrew can audition too. If anyone else would like to audition, please come and put your name down on my list now. Children, please form an orderly queue. What's the matter, Henry? Someone clipped your fairy wings. <laughs> Not funny. Oh, I've got to turn anxious Andrew into a great actor before the auditions, or I really will be king of the fairies. Hi, Andrew. I uh, bet you can't wait for the auditions. Yeah, you'll be great. Um, I'm quite anxious about it, actually. Andrew, what you should be worried about is not getting the part. I should. Of course. This is your chance to step up. Be a man. Make your parents proud. Do you really think so? Absolutely. Imagine how great it will feel to conquer your fears and go out onto the stage. I'll do it. Like a king. What did you say? I'll do it. You will? Uh, I mean, of course you will. It's hardly worth you auditioning at all. I'm bound to get the part. I'm a born actress. Oh, no. Margaret might get the part. Don't worry, she won't, cos we're going to turn you into a star! Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Team Andrew! Aerobic Al! Don't worry, Andrew. I'll soon whip you into shape. Brady Bryan! I'm going to help you learn your audition speech. Greedy Graham! You've got to eat to keep your strength up. And Beefy Burns! What are you doing here? I don't know. One, two, three, three and a half, four. Come on, Andrew! Imagine Al's one of the enemy elves! Yeah! Go, Andrew! Time for a well-earned sandwich. Oops. Sorry. It's so easy.